Hello everyone, it's Sizzle Collapse, and this is Ignomatica 2 Skyblock. Hope everyone's having a fantastic day. Having a pretty, pretty good one myself. Pretty good day there. I hope everyone, like I said, is having a good one. Uh, yeah, we're going to get back to this pack here. Kind of hammered out. I am enjoying the start of this pack so far. It says it's an expert pack, but uh, at the start, it does not feel like it. <laughs> it's probably going to ramp up, seriously. I've looked at some of the creatives, and uh, some of them are pretty crazy recipes. So it might be one of those ones that kind of progressively builds up as we go. Kind of see how that goes in time. Uh, in between episodes, I guess I did a fair amount of stuff. I've done a ton of processing, making glass, uh, breaking down sand, all that jazz. That is something I want to automate before too long. Uh, I did make a ton more of uh, the Tetrius. So I have that there. Tertius is what it is, actually. And uh, yeah, that's going. I processed a bunch of materials. So I got like nickel, I got cobalt, I got ardite. And here you see a giant amount. And this is ridiculous. Like this, this, this <laughs> condenser is just silly. I mean... This was one copper ore dust, all 25 stacks. That is one copper ore dust. Just that, that is a ridiculous amount of materials for one single dust, but that's all it was, man. That's one aluminum. I think that's two osmium, uh, one lead, maybe one or two iron, one gold. You just get a lot of stuff. <laughs> that's basically what I'm trying to say from this thing. So, I mean, it is ridiculously good. I am quite amazed that we were able to get it so early. I also made this. This is the... Um, ground trap from Pam's Harvest Craft, and it's not working properly. Usually you just put the baits in them. So there's different baits, three different baits or four, it doesn't even matter. And uh, as long as they're surrounded with a grass block on four sides, usually they produce drops. So leather, feathers, stuff like that, different meats, and uh, it's not working. And one of my patrons actually, uh, Mr. Random, he uh, tested it out himself and it worked on one spot and it didn't work on another because he tried moving it. And uh, yeah, I don't know what's causing that, but uh, I'm going to have to come up with another more reliable way of getting leather. That's going to be something. Also made a bunch of these. These are the, uh, what are they called? Charged Quartz Fixtures from E. I've never used these before, actually. And uh, I wanted to try them out. They're just lights <laughs> from AE2. They take charged Sirtis Quartz. So I had to go ahead and make some charged Sirtis, which would just serve as a redstone. So not really hard to make, but a little expensive because of the redstone. Because, you know, redstone is redstone in this pack. And, uh... Yeah, they're just good lights, so. <laughs> though. Every once in a while, they let off these little kind of electrical particle effects, which I kind of like. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to use them for lighting early on. It's better than the torch graveyard, but as I build, I'll be able to kind of move the lighting around anyway. So that is definitely something. Uh, down here, we actually have a squid farm. So you can see there's some squids in there. I have this set on a timer to turn the water on and off, I think, every 600 ticks. Uh, the mobs are being... Oh, they're falling down now. There we go. Uh... <laughs> They just uh, fall down into this little empty airspace, and uh, there's a vacuum hopper here that collects all the kind of goods there. I used crates, and uh, you know, the crates are actually pretty cheap in this pack, so that wasn't too bad. I mean, you know, not really cheap, but uh, not expensive, so not too bad at all. So the way I have this set up is just a timer, uh, several dispensers here, and uh, water bucket, and uh, each one of them. So every 15 seconds, it kind of puts the water out. Then it retracts the water, so like it did, it just ticked there. So the water would be going out right now, and uh, squids would be able to spawn. So that's the way it basically works. I think it's Y level 64 up there. I think I'm at Y level 48. I don't think that's the exact numbers, but as long as you're kind of in between that area, 48 and 64, you're good for uh, squid spawning. So that is pretty cool. And I don't think there's really much else I did. I made myself a mandolin casing. Uh, most of my time was waiting for this process. And to make stuff like this. So I made some cool. I made more glowstone. I got an immense amount of gunpowder now. I'm going to have to turn off the mob farm soon. Because uh, it is definitely the issue. Uh, redstone. Actually, no, I did turn off. I went and put lights inside it. Uh, we got the blaze powder. And uh, looking pretty good all around. You know what I mean? Just good kind of setup for, for resources, man. Just a uh, good start. And okay, the first thing we're going to get to here is actually going to be some life infusion. So... This is going to be something you're going to kind of need if you want to get the things like sugar cane, um, nether wart. There may be other ways to get nether wart. Uh, your different slime saplings, uh, rubber saplings, stuff like that. I kind of skipped it early on because I didn't really need it. I kind of found ways around things. And uh, yeah, kind of move forward. Like slime, I just want to have a way of getting consistent slime without having to make rice slime balls every time. And the sugar cane, just something you should have anyway. Rubber saplings for IC2. So I'm just grabbing some of the stuff to kind of show you real quick. So... The first thing we need to do is actually make a dehydrated cactus. To do that, you're going to need eight light grade dye, some plant matter, and a piece of... Ooh, that's not right. <laughs> you're going to need this, this, and a bone block. There we go. 
it's going to explode, and you're going to get a dehydrated cactus. Once you have that, you can grab a piece of sand, of course. Take that, throw it on, I guess, down so it can grow. Throw the dehydrated cactus on there, and uh, we're going to want to use a, our, our water extractor and just right-click on it, and now it's a normal cactus. We can now shift right-click on it, and bam. It took a little bit of damage, but we got one of these cactus needles. So how this kind of works is you're basically creating different kind of life using your own life. You take damage and you create items. So that's kind of how life infusion works. So the first one we're going to make is sugar cane, which is three glycerin melons. So just melons, some gold nuggets, and a pumpkin. So we're going to grab that and we're going to grab this stuff. Uh, I forget if this goes in your offhand or main hand. You can look at all the recipes if you go to use on it. So yeah, so if you want sugar cane, you go through here. You'd see three glycerin me uh, melons. It shows the shield, so it needs to be in our offhand. So let's uh, do that. There we go. And uh, put down a cactus. There we go. Right click on it. Boom. You see there, we took some damage, but uh, we got ourselves a piece of sugar cane. So we have the ability to grow sugar cane now, which is what we're kind of going for. And uh, yeah, it tells you exactly in the recipe too, uh, how many hearts you're going to lose, right? So there's five hearts, there's five, there's 7.5. Different ones are going to kind of hurt you different amounts. And <laughs> definitely a thing. So we got our sugar cane. The next one, I think this one was for nether wart. And I'll have to go over here, I guess. Let's throw that down. I just use shears on grass for this one. Uh, we're going to throw that in offhand. This main hand. Right click on that. There we go. Got another wart. So really basic. And that's why I just kind of wanted to push through this really quickly. Kind of get these certain ones done. The ones I thought were important. Nether wart, I wasn't sure. There was a couple other in there we may need later on. But uh, not a big deal. Uh, spruce saplings. I needed this one for the rubber saplings for IC2. So you go to the recipes on this. You'll see with two pumpkin seeds and a bone meal and any piece of dirt, you can actually make a spruce sapling. So it's not a big deal to make the sapling itself. So that's pretty cool. And, uh, we will have to plant that. I went ahead and made two of these because sometimes rubber saplings, or I should say rubber trees, are a little cheap uh, <laughs> with their uh, kind of drops there when it comes to saplings. So I want to have a little backup here. I had to make this too, actually, the sticky resin. So that was just two slime balls, and I'll show you how I made the slime balls in a second. The plant balls. There you go. And Because uh, they are green ones specifically for that recipe. And uh, they're a little funky with some recipes when it comes to stuff like that. But anyway, let's make that. There we go. We got one. Do I have to eat yet? <laughs> I don't want to kill myself, right? There we go. Still, I need to load up. Whoa. Oh, I thought it uh, took all my stuff. Because we can do it again. There we go. Got two of those now, right? If I actually pick it up. Yeah, that handles all of our rubber needs. So we can grow rubber from that. Kind of get that going. That is pretty cool. The last one here is going to be, like I said, the uh, slime balls. So let's go ahead and go, I guess, here. We're going to turn this over the green slime to do that. Just kind of combine them. Uh, combine. I did an L on that. Uh, combine all the right slime balls and get the slime blocks, which is a green slime block. And then you can turn it back and get green slime balls. But uh, I don't want to have to do the bucket crafting every time I do it. So that's kind of what I'm doing here. I believe I had to take, what was the recipe? Let's go to uh, blue slime. Was it one to one or what? What was it? There. Okay. We just need one of you, right? And then two of you. And there we go. Put ourselves a blue slime ball. Uh, I need to recheck that recipe, actually. It's four blue slime balls. Let's go get a couple more lapis here because <laughs> otherwise this isn't going to work. We do what was it uh two of these yeah let's grab six there we go then we can actually do the proper recipe get the proper ratio kind of push forward that way there we go got all our slime balls and uh, we should be able to make this now right so it would be that and i believe it was just the sapling right should check it one more time just to make sure don't want to have to redo it so yeah any tree sapling and that equals that okay cool Go ahead and grab you, you, and uh, throw down a sapling, right click on it, bam, and look at that. <laughs> it's a pretty neat little mechanic. Uh, the last thing was the, the slimy dirt, I think is what we were going to do. I had a recipe for it. Uh, it wasn't this one. There's one that I think I could use green slime on. Slimy dirt. No, let's just go dirt. Dirt. It's here somewhere. Yeah, green slimy dirt, just so we can plant the sapling on it, right? So four green, and that will give us that. So that's cool. So let's do you. And, uh, did I need one more sapling for that? Is that what we need there? Oh, that one was a piece of dirt. So we could just do that. And uh, boom. There we go. We have everything we need. So we have our cactus now. So we have cactus whenever we need it. We got sugar cane. We got nether wart. And we got our 
rubber trees happening. So that is pretty cool. I should probably get those kind of planted here really quickly, at least some of them. <laughs> there you go. They're all planted. They're good to go. Uh, we have our rubber trees. We have our slime tree. We got our um, sugar cane planted. So we're good to go in that respect. Uh, the nether wart, I totally forgot we needed soul sand. So I actually have to do more life fusion later on. But I already showed you how to do it. So I'll kind of do that in my time. Uh, we didn't need that right away. I was just kind of setting up for the future, right? Uh, I went ahead and grabbed some nether brick and brick. And we're going to go ahead and make a blast furnace uh, right now. Kind of doing some oddball stuff today because uh, we need to get it done. So I just want to kind of hammer it out, get it done fast. Then next we're probably going to get into something a little deeper. But uh, we're going to get through it either way. Uh, we got that there. There we go. Blast furnace complete. And, uh, it's not really because we haven't built it yet, but we'll pretend. We'll just throw it over here somewhere. Doesn't really matter. We could probably just wand that, right? There we go. Take that. Grab ourselves an engineer hammer. And uh, just hammer that puppy. Bam. We got ourselves a blast burger. So that's pretty cool. Gonna grab some cool coke here. Throw that puppy in there. And grab us a stack of iron. And we'll be on our way to make it steel. So that is pretty cool. And uh, yeah, move aboard. Uh, when we get into the mechanism. Or the immersive. It doesn't matter which one. We're gonna need a lot of this anyway. So yeah, we're gonna end up having... Once we have power, I'm gonna end up making the... RF uh, based one because uh, we're going to need a fair amount of steel I think of this pack so let's go ahead and do that so we've taken care of that let's kind of look at our quest here what did we get here industrial craft uh, no it would be immersive there we go got ourselves a loot chest might as well grab that maybe we'll make this too the engineer's workbench real quick so it's going to be something we need moving forward either way and uh, it's one of those things that kind of just kind of pops up on you <laughs> out of nowhere all of a sudden you need vacuum tubes and uh, yeah might as well make it Let's grab the workbench. Is it a work? It's not a branch, that's for sure. It is this one right here. Normal recipe. That's cool. I like normal recipes. I thought it took slabs. It doesn't actually, right? <laughs> totally derpy. Doesn't matter. We've got slabs either way. We need them when we do the arc first, I think, or something like that. Anyway, there we go. So we have this now. Grab the workbench. We'll have to make the blueprints later on, but uh, we'll worry about that when it pops up. Uh, that's going to be used to make things like, like I said, vacuum tubes. Uh, metal components, things like that. If you look at the casing, actually, I think it's called the steel casing, right? For mechanism. So when we finally get into the machines here, uh, we're going to need steel plates. And we're going to need uh, reinforced blast bricks. So the plates there. And I saw somewhere else. There was somewhere else there. Like these components, we can actually make them the table way cheaper than if we made it this way, right? So it's two less steel. So it's a much better way to do it. You just need the blueprint here. Which isn't a big deal. We'll kind of make it when the time comes. Let's go ahead and grab this though. Got some moss stone. Might be useful later on. And uh, probably got another quest there. So might as well check that as well. Grab that one. There we go. Let's see if we get anything good yet. Elf glass panes. That's a weird one. <laughs> Is that actually good for anything other than just glass? I mean it's glass that doesn't look too bad. But, uh, don't really need it as an item. So anyway. Next thing I want to get to. We're going to get into something else here. So. It is nighttime, probably a good time to start this. Uh, we're probably going to get into Thawncraft. The reason I'm going to get into Thawncraft, here's what I'm going for. I want to get a light well. The reason I want to get a light well, it is from Astral, is we'll be able to get into Liquid Starlight. If I have Liquid Starlight, I can automate sand and just have infinite amount of sand. Then I don't have to keep crushing down stone constantly to gravel, to sand, every time I want to produce it. It's <laughs> basically all the reason. Um... We need to do stuff to kind of get here. We need aquamarine. I think I already washed those. Uh, we're going to have to get rock crystal. Uh, to get those, we have to do a rock crystal ore, I believe. So this right here. So we need some stardust, some diamond, some aquamarine, which I have, and some stone. Stardust is actually done in alchemical fusion. More aquamarine, some glowstone iron. So that's not a big deal. We also need a resonating wand. So you go here, resonating wand. And that actually requires thomcraft. So we're going to have to go through that. But you can't just craft this. So if you click on this, it says, To create Salismon, just take three Viz crystals at different types and combine them with redstone. With a flint and, uh, and a wood bolt. But you can't actually just go and craft this. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you have to progress. Um, well, you can craft it, but I don't think you can use it. It's weird. Anyway, I might as well start off on craft either way because we have to go through it, right? So I want to get that done. Um, first thing we're going to do, probably. I already have a little chest here kind of set up with a few items. Grab this stuff. Grab it all. And... We need to make all the base viz. So that's what we have to do. Then we have to sleep. That kind of unlocks Thongcraft. It's kind of weird how it works. But we go here, you go to the six base viz. So there's Air, Terra, Ignis, Aqua, Ordo, and Perditio. 
Uh, all these ones, just these six, are craftable. We just need to make some uh, quartz silver here, which we just do with quartz. Right there. There we go. Let's grab some of that. Get this kind of crafted down to... I don't know how many... I don't want to use all my quartz, but at the same time, we got to get her done. <laughs> Let's do that much. Let's see if we got enough. And uh, yeah, I just got grabbed everything real quick for these recipes so we could just kind of hammer it out. Uh, that one's already got enough in there. Let's do that. So I'm just going to do two recipes of each. And uh, we should get a good amount because you get nine per recipe. But anyway, we have all that stuff. Let's head over here. Let's take a quick little nappy poo. There we go. Really hot topic. Time to tinker and sweet dreams. <laughs> Here we go. And did it give us our quest? It didn't. Do I have to wait till another night? I think I'm going to have to wait till tomorrow night. That actually really sucks. And okay, I went ahead and washed my diamonds and someone told me they actually need to throw all the crystals on the ground. That is kind of the problem here. That's why it wasn't working right. So let's go ahead and do that. There we go. Yeah, there. Now if we sleep, I think everything will happen. We'll get our little book that we're supposed to get. We could have kind of progressed past this point. There we go. I think everything's there. Got this one here. The little book here. It says Strange Dreams. You open that up. Pretty much tells you in a dream I took three of those strange crystals I've been finding. Ground them with a handful of redstone, a bull. And uh, now we can make ourselves mud this right. And uh, that's probably what we're going to do here. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a wood bowl. And uh, we'll just need. Let's just do this. Wood bowl. No. Okay. Just bowl man. <laughs> there we go. Why would you tell me to make a wood bowl when all I have to do is make a bowl? Anyway, let's grab that. Uh, we'll need some flint, which is actually in there. So we can grab that. A little bit of redstone. We kind of get this done, man. I don't think it even matters. I think it's shapeless, so let's do that. I think we can take three random crystals, too. And kind of do this. So like that, that, and maybe this one here. And there we go. We've got some Salus Mundus. This is exactly what we want here. Let's make a decent amount of this to kind of start. There we go. Pull that out and uh, did that do anything? It did not. What else does it want us to do? It does that a bookcase? So we need to make a bookcase. That was the other part of it. Let's go actually to a crafting table. Let's go here. Let's go to bookcase. Sweet. And uh, actually, let's go to bookshelf, right? There we go. Grab one of these. I think this one actually makes our um, actual thomonomonomicon, which I like to call it. Grab you. Sweet. Let's see if we can make some books. Awesome. Let's pull the Salus Mundus because I don't know why it's in there. Grab. Maybe you. Am I actually missing? <laughs> there we go. And finally a bookcase. Awesome. So let's take this over here somewhere I suppose. Actually this one's going to turn into the um, <laughs> book anyway. So it doesn't really matter where I put it. Let's grab a Salus Mundus. Right click on that. There we go. Does a little particle effect. Looks pretty. And bam. We got our book. And that is pretty awesome. So we can take this puppy down I think. Open her up, and uh, yeah, we, we've got the start of Thumbcraft, which is pretty cool. Uh, we do have some stuff we have to do it here. You could read all this. Uh, once you take a crafting table, and then you sell as much on it. So we're going to go ahead and do that real quick. So let's go ahead. Uh, we need some more wood, man. Uh, I have wood problems. I actually have a bunch of wood. I don't know why I'm doing this, because this is actually ineffective and uh, inefficient, because uh, I do time six my wood usually. But, uh, we'll take this, maybe run over here or somewhere, find a little spot for it. I guess it doesn't really matter as long as it's out of the way for now. Grab ourselves Mundus and uh, use it on this. There we go. Got to get ourselves an arcane workbench. I'm going to pretend we need to pick this up too, just to be safe. <laughs> so it registers for quest. And uh, that is pretty cool. We also should have a quest line here, right? So a little there. Got a check mark one. Let's detect that one. Uh, some kind of console command. <laughs> and uh, oh, didn't see this either because I did it too early. Yeah, let's go ahead and break that again. I guess we're going to have to make ourselves a crafting table. Which is okay, because I think we need some more later on anyway. So, not a big deal. But, uh, let's grab that. Actually, I know we need nine of these. So, let's go grab nine of them. Sweet. Is that going to give us our quest? Maybe? I thought I just had the arcane workbench. Isn't that what this one is? Yeah, this one's the arcane workbench. Can I, can I have a quest? Tell you detect. There we go. Let's claim a loot chest. Sweet. And uh, we are totally full now, but that's not that big a deal. Gotta grab that workbench, throw it down, 
And uh, we're able to actually store some of our Viz Crystals on here, uh, some of each type. And uh, when we do crafting, it uses up some. So we're going to just do that. And uh, where's the last one? I got one more kind in here. <laughs> oh, there it is there. So that's good there. Let's see what's in here. Got some infusion crystals. So, I mean, once we get to the point, that should help starting with mystical agriculture. I'm going to assume that's a little far off, though. Anyway, let's do that. Now, let's look at the next step in the book here. We do have ourselves Muntus. We could move forward. But, uh, we do need to go through here, like kick, click on that. It's telling to make a thumbometer now. So let's make that, because that is very useful, actually. So thumbometer, bam. You're going to need some gold and class paint. So let's grab gold here. Where's my gold band? Let's do this, let's do this. I'm not going to go over explaining the thumbcraft either, because, um, like I said, I'm going to have to learn a lot of it as I go. We're just kind of, I'm just kind of showing you how to get into it, kind of get started, because um, it's really kind of locked down by progression. You have to kind of do things in a set order. And uh, there's research. I don't know a clue how the new research works. I saw it really quickly, <laughs> kind of how it works, and uh, I still didn't quite get it. So, yeah, we'll figure that out in time. And, uh, that is something we'll have to do. Anyway, let's go make our thumb meter, because uh, this thing's going to be pretty useful for research and stuff, all that jazz. Um, and other stuff and things. So actually that's the complete wrong recipe. Take the glass pane, put it in the center, do that right there, and boom, got a thumb meter, which is pretty cool. And uh, we use this thing to scan stuff. So I go at the ground there, you've learned something new. Uh, the cool thing about it in this new version is you can actually go to chest, I believe. Like that, like that. There we go. You see there, you got a little icon that came on the screen. You can actually scan entire chest. Like, look at that right there. Crazy. Uh, it gives you kind of all kinds of different little information. Working towards different kinds of research. Which is kind of neat. I don't know if you can scan the inventories and stuff like that. You can. Look at that, man. It's just scanning stuff all over the place. <laughs> you can scan a couple more things there. Really quick. Not really that concerned right now, but at the same time, I'm also get it scanned up. I know these chests all have stuff in them. You might be able to find stuff for me. Looks like we're pretty much gonna be capped out here for right now. That's okay, we're good. So, is there anything else I need to unlock right this second? I think we need to get to the Crucible. I think I saw that. So, I'm trying to just get to the quest, through the quest line far enough to get in the Crucible. Sells Mundus, we've already done that. We've done that, sweet. Oh, there's a crucible there. So to make that, we actually need to make a, what is it called? Just a cauldron, right? So let's go ahead and make a cauldron. Could I have one of them? I'll probably look at a crafting table because it'll work better. Sweet. And uh, we're gonna take that puppy. Oh, we need a piece of netherrack. Do I have any right now? Netherrack, no. That is, so eight cobblestone and three blaze powder. Let's go down here. Let's just place it with, one of the extra netherrack. Kind of go right there. Then kind of get the fire exactly where I need it. I do have flint and steel. I don't know. Is that in my bag? It is too. Sweet. Okay, cool. Uh, we might want to pick up the water because that's not a good spot for it. Let's do you. Let's get a piece of netherrack down there. Sweet. And uh, grab you. Get that lit up. And we'll have a cauldron. <laughs> And uh, it's not doing anything right now. We're gonna need to grab a piece of Salamundus. Right click on there. We'll get our particle effects again. And boom, got a crucible. And uh, we actually probably need to pick that up, actually. Now that I think of it. Yes. Give us a quest. And there we go. Done. So this thing takes water. It's gonna be used for crafting. And uh, yeah, we'll kind of get to that where we need to. I think that's all we need to do with Thongcraft at this second. So we're actually gonna drop everything off and go see if we can get an Astral. Once we see which quest we completed here, grab this one, another loot chest, see if we get anything good. And what did we get? Coconut shrimp. I don't mind food. Let's just throw it in there right now. So my inventory is horribly clogged. I know I need to do this, so I'm gonna actually get rid of these uh, crafting tables. Let's grab, oh, it's not like that. It's like this. <laughs> grab ourselves a compressed crafting table. Grab that, that's pretty cool. And I'm gonna just clear everything right now. Uh, figure this out as we go. Need you on me, maybe my wand, and definitely need this. Okay, so what we're gonna get to next is uh, grab this chest because it's very important. Look at Astral, it's not unlocked. So what do I actually need for the unlock for Astral? I should probably check that out, right? 
So let's go to Gates. Gates just wants Aquamarine. We already have it, so let's claim it. You get free marble, which is pretty cool. Uh, we are going to need a chisel, though. So let's go ahead and make a chisel. Sweet. Hopefully. Let's go right here. I have no iron in here, really. Is that actually a problem? <laughs> I know I got a ton of it now. There we go. And the ability to make it insane amounts more. So the chisel, we can chisel in different forms of um, marble for actual sorcery. So we can kind of do it that way. Uh, what else do we need here? Kind of look forward. And we have the unlock now. So we should have Astral. We can make the book. It's going to give us the book for free, apparently. So that is pretty cool. Uh, we do have a chest here. What have we got here? A cup of coffee. No effects. <laughs> there we go. I am a coffee addict, so I appreciate that. But anyway, first thing we need is Luminous Crafting Table. So let's do that. Let's go to Luminous. Right there. We need any kind of marble, a piece of amber. We got our compressed crafting table and some sooty. We do the sooty. It's just a piece of coal, right? So I have coal over here. Let's go grab that. So we're going to have to go and craft a resonating one. And then finally the light well. We should be able to get to that. And then we'll be able to automate our sand man, which is going to be pretty sweet. So let's go ahead and go to you. Plus we're set up for three more mods. We got steel going. We got Thongcraft, and now we'll have Astral. So we'll have a whole bunch of new stuff open. We kind of push forward. I didn't wash an Amber. Let's grab Amber. There we go. We only need one of these, so let's get that done real quick. Sweet. And uh, that just came... Amber came from, I think, just stone, right? Amber came from stone? Am I right? <laughs> yeah, just from the stone. So just byproduct, pretty low rate, though. So that is something, I suppose. Anyway, we got a Luminous. That's cool. I'm going to take that, throw this over here somewhere too. Little magic area. Cool. And uh, yeah, see what we got for a quest there. Grab you. Claim that. What did we get? More food, man. I'm not getting... I know a lot of people got real lucky in the loot bags. I'm not. I'm getting a lot of food. Uh, <laughs> which is kind of funny. But anyway, let's go. Next thing we're going to want to work on, like I said, is the light well. And we have that open to us now. But uh, this is going to be a little bit of work. So, light well. We have our aquamarine. We can do our rune marble. The main thing is the rock crystal. So, rock crystal. There we go. To make the rock crystal, we need 10 stardust. So, let's focus on the stardust first. The first thing with the stardust we're going to need is... We only need like 4, maybe 5 recipes of this. Let's do 5 recipes. So, 10 aqua, 10 glowstone, 5 iron. Let's do that. That sounds good to me. And uh, we'll kind of push forward with that. So, 10, and then 5, right? Uh, iron's in this chest. 5, ah, and 10. That should be good. Should give us a good amount of star metal. To kind of get going here. Let's do you, and you, and you. Sweet. There we go. We get 2 per. We should get a decent amount, actually. Uh, we only really need one rock crystal ore right now. It doesn't hurt to have a little extra of this stuff anyway. Uh, might as well bulk craft most things in this pack. As long as you have the resources. Just saves you have more time running back and forth grabbing random items. Kind of pump them in the things, right? Okay. Well, we're only going to get two, but that's fine. <laughs> we do have the right ratio though. So 6, 10, uh, 10, no, 20, right? 20 and 20. That's right. Let's do that. And 20. There we go. Two rock crystals. Uh, probably, let's just do both. I should do this with fortune. But I'm not going to worry about it right now. I do need to throw fortune on my pick. I just haven't bothered yet. But, uh, we'll get a whole bunch of rock crystals here. We got four. But, uh, we should be capable of actually making our light well now. So let's go to light well. See exactly which marble we need here. So we need ruined and chiseled. Okay, let's head over to the table. Can we get this done, man? Oh, we need our resonating wand. I totally forgot about that. Uh, that should be easy to do now. We have the Salas Mundus. Uh, resonating wand is right here. Main tool for the mod. So that's the way that works. Uh, we should be able to just straight up craft that. So let's get that done. Sweet. And we did... We're going to need, what, three and two. Let's do this. And then chisel what we need to. So the three was this stuff here, the rune. So let's grab that. And this one was 
What is the other one called? I know it when I see it. It's here somewhere. It has the lines around it. I might have to look at which one it was now. <laughs> I thought I knew which one. It's chiseled, right? Chiseled. Yeah, it's this stuff, I think. Let's try this. Okay, so we got lots of starlight in this chunk, actually, which isn't too bad. I think it was this here, that there. I think it was this, and I think it was that. There we go. We have our light well. We should be able to just take our wand right there. Oh, maybe right there. Right click on this puppy. Gonna get some sound, gonna get some light effects. Um, you should be able to do this in most chunks during the daytime anyway. So I wouldn't really worry about that. But uh, we got a light well, so that's pretty cool. And that's awesome, actually. Let's go ahead and grab a quest. Grab you. See if we can get anything good here. We might get some good stuff. Oops. Right there and right there. Shows fill level. Oh yeah, those ones aren't that great. And just some factory blocks, which is something I already always use anyway. So why not have a stack of factory blocks for free? Because it saves me some iron. <laughs> so we have kind of everything we need here. Uh, to do the starlight, all we really need to do now is to do this. Uh, hopefully it's not turning daytime very long, uh, very soon. Still got about a little bit of the night left. But uh, when you put an aquamarine in here, uh, during the night, it'll actually start making a good amount of starlight. If it turns the daytime, it starts producing almost nothing. So I need this to get up to a thousand millipuckets, then we're good to go. And this is done. That's really what it comes down to. So close, man. We just need a hundred millibuckets. Uh, these uh, Aquamarine have a random chance of breaking. So sometimes they produce one bucket, sometimes they produce several. It seems to be pretty random. And uh, yeah, they just last, you know, a random amount of time. It's about to slow down a lot, though, I think. <laughs> Hopefully it makes it to the full amount before it goes super slow. Yeah, looks like we're good. And uh, there we go. We've got a big bucket, no a bucket of liquid starlight. Um, where am I gonna set this up right now? Probably right here. <laughs> I don't have a lot of options. Uh, let's go kind of up this way. Let's go up three. How do I want this? Three works. Let's go here, here. Yeah, let's make a big T. The big T sounds good. Here we go. Gotta grab that piston, probably. Throw that somewhere around here. This would be fine right here, actually. It's going to push into here. This is going to be to just turn it off. So that's all that's for. Um, everything else we need locked in because it's going to be fluids, right? So we are going to want a trapdoor probably here, 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 and here. I guess, uh, no, I did need one there. That works. I guess we can close all that off. Close all this off as well. Probably work. Pretty awesome and uh, maybe there there that should lock in all the fluids that looks good let's go ahead grab ourselves a matic let's uh get that out of there we need a torch on the bottom so let's do that torch is actually going to break the sand and make it kind of drop in the world grab a vacuum hopper go right here grab ourselves a small storage crate pop up there um maybe get the side set so configure that first let's get that out of the way to set that to output into here so anything that drops down will just get pulled into there and we might actually be done actually <laughs> let's go here and uh actually i should have probably left that there right now let's do that for a second and uh we just need to get our liquids in here so let's go ahead and grab our liquid starlight we'll just go there oh maybe i shouldn't have done that first let's do the lava there we go and break that there you go made a piece of sand now all i need to do now is this <laughs> this thing is crazy yeah it just keeps making it it's just gonna keep pulling it up one cool byproduct of this is every once in a while it's very rare but we'll get free aquamarine shale i think it's called as well and uh, it's just free aquamarine which is pretty awesome uh also if you want to turn it off we we'll need a place to put a redstone torch i guess or not a redstone torch uh just a uh, lever there we go that works fine so yeah that is infinite sand and uh anytime i want to you know go ahead and uh just make another big batch of glass i just need some hoppers kind of feeding into these tables now oh i need to smelt it up first never thought of that i need to set up smelting before i do any of this get that out of there there we go but i can go and smelt you know multiple stacks at a time let this run for a few minutes 
run it through my furnaces, have nine stacks of glass. Then I can go ahead then and just turn it into the uh, crystal shards whenever I need it. So that's pretty cool. I want to see one of the shales come through because I know it comes through. It's just uh, being a little cheap right here. <laughs> this thing's crazy bad. It just goes nonstop. And the absorbed vacuum hopper is keeping up with it. No problem. So that is pretty cool. And okay, I think I'm going to wrap this one up here. Just going to let everyone know that I do have Discord. If you want to stop by, say hello, any of that jazz, feel free. Everyone is welcome. Just keep classy. That is all that I ask. Also, I do have a Patreon. So if you want to you know, think about supporting me, move forward, making videos, that'd be absolutely fantastic. Uh, I currently do have three sub servers. Uh, I think I have Fullcraft. I have Ignomatica Expert, the regular one, World Gen, and then I have Skyblock uh, Ignomatica too. So both of those packs, I guess all three of those packs on the sub servers. So that is pretty amazing. But uh, I am going to end this one here. So as always, if you guys like this video, please hit that like button. If you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. It is always appreciated. I want you guys all have a good one. I'll see you guys next video. Later.